When publishers first moved onto the internet, they really struggled to figure out how to monetize their work. One of the reasons that I love, and not just because you're sitting across <laughs> from me, is that you and I have such a strong working relationship. My job as publisher is to ensure that we are developing, building, and growing the best brands in a digital media landscape. I spend most of my time thinking about how to build a big business around each of our eight media brands. That also means helping advertisers embrace the future. We can get so distracted by what's new or what's next that we forget to think about the lessons of the past. Artists and storytellers have always needed to find ways to support their work, unless you are lucky enough to have the Medici supporting your David. When we first started exploring how to deliver news on television, the commercial break didn't come instantly. You used to have newscasters smoking Marlboro cigarettes on air uh, to promote those cigarettes. When you look at movie listings in the newspapers, those are ads, but they also provide readers a real utility. We didn't do that when we moved advertisements online. The one creation that everyone used was the banner ad. And the banner ad, frankly, sucked. Even the original creator of the banner ad has come to rue the day that he invented it. I like to think there have been three phases of the internet. The first is where magazines ported content to the web. The second phase, which was really the crap phase, was the rise of blogging and quick service journalism. And now we're moving into really an era of consolidation where high quality, smart journalism that scales will ultimately win. We are finding audiences want to engage in quality work that is not just a quick hit. We're experimenting with how to implement storytelling across multiple platforms. We also have to figure out how to monetize all of those platforms as we go. One of the most exciting characteristics of the world we live in today is that you can have a real-time dialogue between content creator and content consumer. If you think about it, the mobile experience is actually one of the most intimate experiences out there. It's you holding a tool in your hand and really engaging with just that single screen. Snapchat, like so many of these emerging platforms, can be really difficult to navigate because it's new, right? It's something that we haven't done before. So at Vox Media, one of the things that I think we do really well is we create an army of experts who learn a platform really fast and then teach out to the rest of the company. The real challenge in front of us is to make good on the promise of native advertising, which is that powerful, incredible storytelling does have the ability to drive business results. We have to embrace the fact that we're at a place where there's so many new mediums out to explore and so many more to come. What does this look like on VR headsets? How are you going to tell a story on people's bathroom mirrors that they read as they get ready for work in the morning? What's the experience people want to engage with as they're driven to work in their self-driving cars? We can figure out some steps in the right direction, creating a service for readers, being as thoughtful about creating quality advertising as we do quality storytelling, creating a great experience, and being clear about what we're trying to tell them. 